Hey, what's up everybody? My name is JR. Every week I do a beer tasting. Me and the family are going to Dublin next year, so I'm just trying to broaden that palate and get some different tastes, you know, different beers. So with that, today we have a Belgian, yeah, Belgian uh, beer. And it's an interesting one. I don't know if you've ever seen the Pink Elephant. So with that, um, I think we need to get started some beer tasting. Let's go. All right, here we go. Well, today we have Delirium. And take a look at that. See that bad boy right there. I don't know if you can see that. Can you? Yep. It's got the pink elephant. It almost looks like it's a ceramic bottle. It's from Belgium. And I couldn't find out a lot of information on it because the whole site has different languages except for American. I mean, it does have British, but <clears throat> again, that's kind of English, right? I'm kidding. So anyway, let's get this bottle opened. Let's see what this bad boy tastes like. Okay, well, it smells good. And to start off, this one's 8.5% alcohol. And I forgot the price point on it. Let's just say, I want to say it was like four bucks. Well, it's got a nice color to it. Little, little tiny bubbles, little tiny bubbles. I mean, it looks good. It smells decent. Let's give it a try. Hmm. That's not bad, actually. Um, I did not think it was going to taste that good. To be honest, I wasn't 100% excited about drinking this, but... Mm, that's pretty tasty. I mean, the website says it's slightly malty and spicy. I'm not really getting that. And it says it has a strong aftertaste. I'm not getting that either. I mean, right when I first hits my mouth, it feels really carbonated. I mean, like, almost kind of like, I don't know if you ever drink soda, but right when it hits your palate, it's like explodes all that carbonation. That's kind of what I'm getting when I sip on that. This beer was actually made in 1988. Well, not this particular one, but the the taste of this beer was made in 1988. The bottle, I'd give it a 3.5. I mean, the way it looks. I don't know what the IBUs are, but I would say it's probably around 20. Because it's not really, maybe, maybe 25. It's not all that bitter. It's... I want to say kind of flowery. I mean, that's kind of, kind of, I don't know if that's really a adjective that I'm looking for, but the first hint of what I'm thinking is kind of flowery, but I don't know. I mean, I'd, I wish I had more information, like if what it was made of, and but I don't, I'm going to give the overall taste a three. I mean, it doesn't taste bad. I, I mean, it, it tastes good. Three, three means that, to me, I would buy it again. I don't know how soon, but I would buy it again. If someone said, oh, do you want to try one of these? I'd be like, yeah, sure, why not? The more I taste of it, it's going down and down and down on the, uh, on the scale. And this would probably, oddly enough, might be the lowest one so far. I think I would say a 2.5. Yeah, definitely, now that I'm sitting here longer, I don't know if I would buy this again. Yeah, it's, I don't even know if I'm going to finish the bottle. At 8.5% alcohol, I might. When was this bottled? It says 1850? Maybe I shouldn't have opened it. 
think this bottle would have been worth a lot more. Well, let's just take another sip. Just a little sip because it does have a lot of alcohol in it and I got to work in the morning or work out in the morning. Mmm. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. I mean, it's 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 decent beer. I wouldn't go out and get all crazy and buy a six pack of it, but that's just me. I mean, I can see a lot of people liking that beer because it's it is a light beer, but it it does have a strong aftertaste. Now that I'm letting it sit there and ferment on my tongue. Yeah, I'm not I'm not digging it. But I've had much, much worse, believe me. And I wouldn't even consider this a bad beer. It's a decent beer, but I'm pretty sure I won't buy that again. Dry, really? It's liquidy. Look at that. How can it be dry? It's wet. It's not dry. How can it be a dry beer? If any of you have a beer that you think I need to be trying, go ahead and put it in the comments below. Or go ahead and um, send me a video, if like a 10-15 second video of the beer that you think I need to be trying. And I will put it on my next week's video. So, with that, go to my YouTube, give a like, a share, do all that good stuff, and check up here, 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 there, or there, wherever I put it, I have no idea, wherever it goes. Um, last week's beer tasting, if you didn't see it, or the week before that, um, I'm just getting started on this, so every Sunday, come back and take a look. With that, everybody, listen. Listen to me. Have a great week. It's Sunday. Enjoy your day. Enjoy the rest of your week. Make it special. Smile at somebody. Make them happy. Peace out.